Hi guys, welcome to Learn with Debit 3 Schools. My name is Dr. Zishan and I'm going to answer one of the most commonly asked questions to me. That is how we can become a JavaScript developer in three months. How or how we can learn JavaScript completely from A to Z as quickly as possible or in an efficient manner. So I'm going to tell you a step by step my learning strategy that I usually recommend to my students physically. That you need standard some time, you need to spend at least three months and you need to break it down weekly in a schedule. So let's begin. The first thing, why you need to learn JavaScript? Well, if you are here, you already probably will know that you want to learn JavaScript because JavaScript is one of the most essential tools for web development. It powers almost 95% websites around the world, especially if you are getting very serious into React.js or Mern stack development. They all require you to learn JavaScript as a, one of the most fundamental tools. It has a huge career opportunity. It has a huge demand in our developers community, not only in terms of software houses, but also in terms of freelancing. The learning scope, building and derived UI, interactive UIs, handling APIs, and creating backend logic are all primarily done using JavaScript. So that's why it's quite important and absolutely essential. Well, overview of the roadmap. Well, the roadmap that I have is basically divided into what we call three months. So meaning that I, I will take it down to 12 months. Okay, so what you do need is a weekly commitment of at least 10 to 15 hours per week. Only then you would be able to satisfy. So if you look at it, it basically means minimum two hours per day. Okay, so you have to spend two hours a day, which will basically mean at least 10 hours a week. So five days a week, right? So at least a 10 day, 10 hours a week. Moreover, you can spend two to three hours that would result into, for example, 10 to 15 hours a week. So if you spend that much amount because you want to become serious in your learning, you need to do that. So you need to understand the learning, the concepts, you need to practice, write code and solve exercise and build small to large scale projects. I'm going to help you with all of these in my future videos. So do stick around. But that's the commitment I need from you to become a professional expert. Do not think that one video will solve your entire problem. You will have many tutorials. You've already seen many tutorials on YouTube that target and this like 10 hour video or two hour video, you know, even a one hour video, they are good for understanding the fundamentals, but they will not make you an expert. To make an expert, you have to do practice, you have to build applications. And this will meaning that you need to give it time. So don't think that you can just binge watch your videos and become an expert within a one week. You have to give at least three months. So do spend at least three months on this one technology and then become a professional in it. So Start with the week one. Within week one, you need to cover topics like what is JavaScript? How do you set up an environment within JavaScript? Understanding the basic syntax, like what is variables, data types, comments. So spend two hours watching basic tutorials. Spend three hours writing and running simple code. Spend at least two more hours solving various different exercises. Find exercises from website like Free Code Camp or Tutorial Reference or W3 Schools. Again, there are many websites. Write your first JavaScript program and understand how to execute this code. So the first week tasks are already here. Understand? So within this first week, you will basically understand all the major concepts of JavaScript involving and then start doing some practicing, start some programming, start solving basic things. This will get you started immediately. Then week two, we start to take control of our JavaScript by learning what we call control flow statements. So these control flow statements are basically what we call conditional if else statements, switch statements, for loops, while loops, do while loops. So the whole next week we spent on covering these topics. Again, the idea is very simple. Spend at least three hours learning these concepts. Now it's up to you because every student has a different ability. You can break it down into one plus one plus one. You can have like two hours plus one session or you can just go for three hours. But this is something I don't recommend at all. Always give yourself time. By that, I mean spend one hour learning some basic concepts like if else, then go and start practicing with some examples. Solve certain logic, build some applications. Then spend another hour learning more concepts. Come back, build some applications, build some logics. Then again, go back, learn more concepts. Okay, that way only you can do. So the idea again is very simple. You learn something, you practice, and then you build. That's how you solve it. Learn a concept, practice it, and then build something from it.
come to week three. Week three will allow you to develop more advanced level of JavaScripts. That may be seeing having declarations, expressions, and arrow functions. Understand parameter passing, return values, and debugging the techniques and console.log browser tools. So in week three, you work with the functions and the debugging options. Again, the same strategy I apply. Three hours of learning, three hours debugging and practicing, and three hours of reusable code functions. Now you see we are spending a little bit more on this, spending more time in it. The goal making very simple, we write a reusable modular functions. Okay. Then from here, we move on to next week four. So week four, we start to understand more about the data types, understanding how data structures and objects start to work inside JavaScript. So this, by this time, you already have a good foundation of JavaScript, how the applications are working. So we spend more time on understanding what arrays are, how objects are working, what do we mean by key and value pairs. Okay, this time you spend four hours at least practicing and creating and manipulating arrays and objects. You spend at least three hours solving challenges like flattening nested arrays, sorting objects and so on and so forth. Still, spend two more hours watching more videos on advanced concepts of arrays and how you can use objects. That way, you again spend at least 10 to 15 hours learning, practicing, and solving problems. So the idea again is very simple. Keep on learning, keep on practicing, and keep on solving problems. Okay, keep on coding, keep on doing and solve the various different tasks. The goal, again, build simple inventory systems object using objects and arrays. Find a project that you can build by this time. So within week four, you would have already understand majority of the concepts, have a good understanding and good conceptually problem solving skills. Then we move on to weeks five and week six. This time we start to go into the, under the hood and start working with the DOM manipulation. This is week five and week six. So within this, you start to work on pro topics that access and modify HTML elements that handle user events like clicks, mouse overs, inputs, creating dynamic elements and forms. This is what all comes into dynam um, DOM manipulation. Because these are very advanced and quite extensively used topics, we give it at least two weeks for all of these topics. At least spend five hours working on interactive web pages, okay? Like to-do lists, calculators, and so on and so forth. This you can find on my website. Five hours at least debugging, testing DOM manipulation and scripts. At least five hours learning as well. The idea is same. Spend videos, learn it, then practice it then build some examples with it. That's how you start working with it. Do coding examples, learn sample programs, build some projects, do these tasks. Learn it, practice it, code it. You solve your problem. That's how we do. So again, by learning means you will not find everything within the same single video. Use websites like W3Schools. Okay, I highly recommend this website. It has everything you need. Use websites like uh, Free Code Camp tutorial point and there are so many other websites again links in my description and on my blog post then moving on further we go into week seven and eight this time we go into something more advanced called asynchronous javascripts by this time you already have a strong foundation of how javascript is we have built multiple applications you have many things so now we start to go into many detailed and advanced concepts that allows us to understand how asynchronous and awaits are working how we fetch data using API, how JSON is working within our JavaScript. Again, the same logic, spend some time in learning, okay? spend some time practicing the basics and then spend some time coding it. LPC, I always follow that. Create small projects, whether apps, GitHub profile viewers, etc. Fetch and display real time data from APIs. So how do we work with APIs? You spend next two weeks understanding that. Spend as much as time as you can in terms of learning, in terms of practicing, and in terms of coding. Okay, give yourself time, give yourself that uh, leverage. Again, by if you spend five hours, do not watch a video continuously. Idea is very simple. You can watch a video for thirty minutes, then practice for one hour. Okay, then build an application for next two hours. Then watch a video for another thirty minutes. Okay, build an application for again one hour. Or do some practice tasks for one hour then again build an application for another two hours so it's like 31 and two minutes so you gradually increase the time the learning time is small this time spend more time practicing and even more time building a large-scale applications 
that's how you start to practice and become more professional with it do not think you can do this overnight week 9 to 10 now frameworks and libraries start learning javascript frameworks frameworks like react like vue like angular js pick your frameworks understand the basic of node js again i have detailed tutorials on react js already on my channel i will be posting more videos on vue node and angular in coming weeks and months so do follow along subscribe so understanding these basic concepts will require you the two weeks react quite easy absolutely important nowadays is used for a front end uh, modular component based website building using javascript frameworks so this is quite important quite essential now it's being used everywhere and you should at least need two weeks to work on this one as well okay so take react js for example and start working on this give two weeks again lodge same logic learn this technology practice it and code it so for learning in this case we say hey seven hours follow a react or view us beginner course seven hours of react means every day you spend one hour learning again for what i say at least two hours practicing and spend three hours coding in this case because react is a different framework you spend some time learning you spend more time practicing and you spend even more time building a large scale applications then again you spend one more time learning other concepts spend a couple of hours practicing it and spend more hours practicing it so every topic has its own strategy that's how you follow okay then week 4 11 to 12 the final week capstone project as we call them build a full stack web application development use react as a front end node.js as a back end and apis to fetch the data such as e-commerce application blog and website real time so this means that now you have done enough learning but still learning doesn't end so spend as minimum time as you can in learning but then build a project there's no practice needed anymore now spend maximum 10 to 15 hours per week building a complete project and you have two weeks to do that so within two weeks you basically get an idea of building a complete project so if you spend like 10 hours per week means you have to spend 20 hours track your time app there are apps that will basically track your time how much time you spend on doing something and so learn that use those apps and then practice these things that's how you start building your projects that's how you start making projects and learning javascript you will spend 12 weeks doing many things so the best practice for learning javascript practice daily spend at least one or two hours coding every day do not think that watching two hour video will make you javascript expert never works like that you have to have to have to practice so learn practice and then code so join communities there are you know abundance of communities i mean it's like thousands and thousands of communities available one of the most prominently used this stack overflow reddit even github has a huge community go there join those forums look at the discussions take part in the discussions focus on projects build something small every week you know coding part every week you need to have a small task as small as convert centigrade into fahrenheit as small as converting you know a dollar currency into any other currencies around the world for example so use apis to fetch the rate and convert it for example convert the dollar into a bitcoin or bitcoin into a dollar so building a small apps even would work fine as long as you because the smaller the problem doesn't really matter but it allows you to understand how to build a logic okay so don't think ah, it's a too small two plus two is small but how do you build a calculator so that logic is basically the building block of becoming a developer so the small modular things you build is like a lego system the more every small task you do adds up to the one giant approach which is becoming a full developer so give yourself time learn the skills practice it and code it okay always challenge yourself use platforms like hacker rank or lead code if you have not accessed it do access it these are very good platform platforms that allow you and give you tasks to challenge yourself read the documentation read and learn as much as you can make sure you understand all the concepts there are so many things so many ways so many techniques happening all the time so make sure you keep yourself updated again always learn practice and then code that's the best approach of learning any technology for that matter tools and resources again there are abundance of tools 
VS Code again primarily I'm using throughout my channel so you would be finding much every single tutorial at least on my channel using VS Code but you can use Sublime Text, Learning Platforms, Free Code Camp, Code Academy, Udemy, my lectures are already there again there's a W3 schools make sure you check this website out again I'm not being sponsored or being paid by any of these but they are amazing websites. Practice platforms like Code Wars, Exorcism, I have a videos on these platforms coming up very soon if you are already watching it you may find it on my channel or in the description these are amazing practice platforms that teach while they give you small tasks games uh, you know challenges that you can solve through coding browser tools like chrome developer tools for debugging are all important how to stay motivated set small achievable goals and build your projects that interest you Okay, like I said, small centigrade to Fahrenheit conversion, a small thing, but achievable. So then you feel satisfied. Start with small, start building more projects. But the key again is same. Learn it, practice it, code it. Only then you will be. If you just keep watching videos on YouTube, it's good. You are learning. But if you are not practicing it, not coding and projecting, it's all in vain. So that's why many people fail and they don't find hey youtube is not important or youtube is not teaching you anything that's because you're just learning on youtube but when you learn it you have to then practice it then you have to build a project so all this will only happen if you learn from youtube so once you learn it make sure you practice and you code the projects again follow along i will be teaching doing the same thing from multiple throughout my channel multiple videos through multiple videos okay so consistency wins stick to the weekly roadmap and track your progress that's the key thing i will be building a blog very soon and um, you know through this channel i will try to motivate and consistently keep track of everybody how they're doing and i'll try to set up a plan so do stick along do follow along and we'll try to set up a community that actually encourages each other to follow and do the tasks okay so if you're here Want to join this uh, roadmap community so do leave a message down below and i will share the details build real world projects that's the again key thing so when you do the coding part third part this is where real world projects come into play and as i said i'm starting this group there we will start and begin this three month journey of learning and we will be sharing various different project ideas so if you want to join leave a comment below never stop learning though okay so this learning part is always there javascript evolves it keeps updating and it's changing so make sure you are updating yourself regularly as well okay so learn practice and then code believe in that mantra and you should be able to achieve things plus give yourself time it's not the javascript can be learned within 12 hours there are videos that are there for 12 hours but they are just not supposed to be watched in 12 binged hours and then make you expert right away never they just means that i have a huge course that I've composed inside one video. You need to follow along, break it down, watch it, learn it, practice it, code it. Okay, so that concludes the session. I hope you have followed this roadmap. Again, if you want to learn with me, follow along, subscribe, leave a comment, and I will share the details of this group that I'm starting three months journey into JavaScript. And then you can get into it. Again, it's a free, of course, no worries about that. But uh, just starting this motivational thing that we can do together. And then every week we will post tasks, learning outcomes and goals and achievables so that everybody member can stay updated. Okay, so thank you very much for watching. My name is Dr. Zishan. Learn with W3 Schools channel. Please do subscribe. Leave your comments. Let me know what you are doing, which week you are working on currently, how much have you learned so far. Okay, and do check out these cool videos on JavaScript already uploaded on this channel and you can follow along. This is Dr. Zishan signing off.